we're tail to tail, so I can see in both the aft cameras, mm -hmm. the top two. So the one, the one on the left is Atlanta. The one on the right, is Hercules. Gotcha. So I know right now something's wrong. That should be with the same heading as the boat, which is ship heading 215. So I'm not pulling on it hard enough. So since you have no um, auto heading on, it's wanting to spin around a little bit. So if everything is in a line, the compasses are opposite. Atlanta's the same heading as the boat. The cameras are tail to tail. Our delta is close to par, usually not red. Usually we want to be a below Atlanta a little for obvious reasons. Um, we are ready. Are we ready? I think we're ready. I'm ready. Uh, usually at this time I'll pause the sonars because when we get up, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill power. Okay. Yeah, I'll okay, I'll kill power. Oh, you can pause the sonar too. Roger, that sounds good. Uh, we'll be ready here in about three minutes. Right here, the little green Roger. blinking light. Yeah. So I don't know why I can't pull Atlanta around. That's kind of strange. What, are, what am I doing wrong here? So I'll make sure I have a hundred percent joystick. I'll make sure my Z bias is zeroed. Usually I have more time to do all this. Uh, the toys are, you know, where they are. Um, I think that is some funkiness. I don't know what's going on. There's an offset in the compass. I'm pulling on it pretty hard. You can see I've pulled it 10 meters away from the boat, right? Yeah. Or however many meters that she's got on there. Yeah. What we're mostly looking for is the, com the compasses aligned. I don't know why that is. That's weird. Well, if you look at the cable, it looks like it's going off that direction off the tail. Yeah, but I know where, I know Atlantis heading because I can see the tether being yeah. pulled to it. It's like there's an offset in the, in its compass. It's usually bang on. Where is it? No, it comes on when Atlanta comes on. There's no turning it off. That's strange. And that's noteworthy in the in the log, I think. Bridge, bridge, back deck. Back deck, bridge. Mission to go ahead and proceed with recovering. The ROVs. Ready to recover. Yeah, that's an offset in the compass. Weird. Never seen that before. It's something to note in the book. And deck. Uh, ROVs are coming up. ROVs coming up. Roger. What do you want me to write? Uh, Atlanta compass is offset by uh, the difference between 165 and 225. I failed horribly at math. I just don't have the bandwidth for it right now. I don't know why that is. Offset by what? Uh, it's reading 165. It should be 225. nav here in the last 50 meters so that's why we usually have the compasses opposite but even if all the compasses were off we just want to have the tether uh, tight if you're pulling on it tight so if I didn't have any power to herc right now we just move the boat a little faster and it would drag the whole mess and keep it lined up so 
Uh, I'm struggling. The current's pushing it to the starboard side of the vessel a little bit. But we want to come up, obviously, between the A-frame. You saw the launch, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm... Same, same. What happens is we get surface cross currents, and the vessel usually has its nose into the current, but I can, you know, maybe with the jet pump, it's... Looks like we're at a 45. Yeah, it's pushing the vessel to the starboard, which seems, I don't know, backwards from what I would, what I'm feeling. camera too so for Herc we have it you know racked all the way back and looking down somewhere you said I'll have it over close to the amp because that's where we're going to use it next and if it's kicked off a little there's more room there uh, if we had samples in the starboard box I would have made sure that's all the way closed so the warm water doesn't get in there as we're sending around the samples That's, yeah, that's about it. Okay. I watch the winch the whole time. A lot of times, super deep, I'll have it, the winch right here in front of me, so I can't not watch it. We tend to forget about it, and bad things happen. It's definitely a green tint to the water. Um, I should also be on my hydraulics page, ready to go into bypass, so I'm also watching the reservoir level and these temperatures here, okay. and specifically the HPU temp, so it's not an issue here so much, but like when we're in your neighborhood, wow. you see our land. it's getting really hot. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? I could do that with Herc, too. Who ordered the soup? <laughs> Turn the rest of the lights off on Atlanta, and yeah, that should do it. Um, Herc, we don't have to worry so much about because it's going to get powered off. But so now I'm going to watch that aft camera there that Ed has struggled with for days, and um, it's like a mill pond out there right now, but if I'm not pulling hard enough, it'll be cocked at an angle. Yeah. If I'm pulling too hard and there's a lot of weather and waves, I'm pulling it way away from the vessel. I gotcha. So I'm kind of the tagline. No, it's definitely a tagline. Sand deck. Atalanta is clear of the water. Hercules is lined up behind the goalpost. Cool. Roger. I'll, if I cheat, I'll cheat to the port side of the vessel a little. Um, that's not quite technically a goal. So right now I'm still pinned hard. I'm full ahead. Yeah, trying to drive away. Yeah, I'm um, the tail on Atalanta. If we have a lot of weather, I won't pin it. And then as soon as it touches the deck, I let go of the stick. Um, I'm still tight on the tether. but And then I'll watch that. Uh, aft cam there and let it droop just a little. So now I'm not trying to yard Atlanta back off the deck again. Oh, I see they're dragging Atlanta on deck. Okay. That is referred to as the churn off slide. So they have the wire should be loose the whole time there. And the tuggers just slide it across the deck. And deck, can you have Hercules uh, drive ahead just uh, slightly? Roger. Roger. So I've got, he wants a little tension on it. He's going to probably lift it to straighten it. Well, I'm struggling in the current there. That's full ahead. I can tell him full ahead. Hercules full ahead. Tech, control Hercules is full ahead. 
Roger that. Thank you. Uh, he changed his mind. <laughs> well, sometimes we'll give it a little lift with the winch just to straighten it up. But. He's uh, taking the starboard side tugger off and he's going to go put it on a snatch block in the A-frame and he's going to pull it back. So now I will back off and give it a little slack because now there's a person behind me and I don't want to I don't want to have it It'll hit quite violently when we're in weather, so I want to have a little slack, and I use that uh, okay. wire cam, as we call it. Just to yeah. I don't want to have too much because um, it'll, you know, we could get the tether into the under the boat. And look at that, nice and straight. And it's a struggle to, if you get out of the goalposts too far, because Hercules doesn't have a lot of lateral authority. So you can, if it's calm like this, you know, I can, like, move back to the starboard side of the boat. And it looks like you're further out in this camera than you actually are. I like to look at this center camera here. To so then when he starts taking the daisy chain off, I'll... Um, snug it back up a little and I'll watch my aft cam here to make sure the daisy chain comes free. And I'm trying not to... It's kind of weird here. I want to keep it tight so the daisy chain comes off, but I don't want to be too tight because he's standing behind the thing now. Hopefully he'll get out of there. It's well secured though, he's got tugger line on it and uh, plasma line and of course the winch wire. Did he say start or stop? Huh? Stop, right? Heard stop. At this point, I usually get yelled at one way or the other. I'm too tight or too loose. Uh, typically, I'm too slack. I see a lot of loose lines coming at me, or these lines are getting, you know, if things go in pear shaped, I'll just, I'll go completely dead stick here and rely on the boat. I'll maybe move the boat a little faster. Um, that way I don't risk entanglement with the recovery line or the daisy chain. right now to cool the HP up. It's nice and chilly here at 39, 40 degrees. Oh yeah. So now the crane has me and so I start watching the um, sway limiter mm -hmm. and if it's getting really violent being pulled horizontal I'll try and help him a little and give a little slack. If it's like it is now, we can do the whole evolution and I can probably 
I don't even touch the joystick. Um, I will uh, correct the heading, so I always try to keep the, which I can't see it right now, uh, I try and keep that uh, tether behind behind me. So if I get into trouble, I can just give her a squirt forward and it'll move away from the vessel. Some uh, some people do it different. They turn and fly or keep it. I guess most people keep it facing away from the boat. But then when you come alongside, you're parallel to it and you cannot. But by then, usually the jet wash pushes you out. And anyways, so. deck, Hercules is 20 meters out. 20 meters, Roger. We locked out, Danny. No twists. It looks good. I think. Yeah, we're good. Bridge, bridge, back deck. Go ahead. We see the pilot boat approaching. Can you have them hold off until we recover this, please? We already informed them, so don't worry. <laughs> Roger. Mike's job to worry. The captains too, I think. So yeah, that's why we're paying close attention to our whole turns thing, because if we do have a turn, then we gotta. A lot of times we don't know it till we're pulling on it with the crane, so we gotta pay everything back out, untie the recovery line, pass it back. And deck Hercules is 10 meters from the transom. 10 meters, Roger. That usually happens at night in rough weather. It can add quite a bit of uh, time and stress to the recovery. It does, uh, it's probably two or three times on the last expedition. A little fun. What's that? Oh, just uh, good to keep an eye on it. Uh, Yeah, <laughs> everybody is not impressed. <laughs> it happens. And Dak Hercules is past the transom. Past the transom. So in this calm weather, I'll go into bypass now before I shut the power off. Um, I'll be ready. As soon as he starts lifting it, I'll shut the power off. And then your job will be to go down and secure the cabinet, which I don't know if we showed you how to do that. Yeah, I'll kill it now. So power secure. Deck, van, power secure. Deck copies. So usually our rule is, is a person sits here, so this can't be an Van enabled. deck. Hercules is clear of the water. While the other one runs down and Raj. secures it. So I'll go secure it since I haven't showed you how to do that yet. Oh, see that key right there? Yeah, turn that key to the left. That's all you got to do. Look at that beautiful five meters of green cable. Green slimy cable. <laughs> and uh, but I had to fight the whole time on the lat, so it was like that long tether is uh hope he doesn't set it down on that green cable. Not even looking at it. 